For the last several months, we already knew what Disney's playbook would be for the race swap live action Little Mermaid. We knew that if it suffered at the box office, we knew that if people criticized it, if it got bad reviews, that Disney was going to blame racism and that they'd use the mainstream media to help them do it, just like they've done with so many things over the past several years. It can't possibly be that people just don't like a movie. It can't possibly be that people don't want another Disney live action soulless remake. It couldn't possibly be that the inclusion of identity politics in every aspect of this film changing the lyrics changing the story and of course changing the race of these characters might play a part in why so many people disliked something it just has to come down to someone's skin color and the media has done exactly what we would expect them to do as this movie fails at the box office tracking behind something like aladdin domestically and bombing internationally the mainstream media picked up the baton from disney disney blamed racism before the movie came out the media is doing it after and you see headlines like this, box office, The Little Mermaid gets doused in China and South Korea after racist backlash. Disney's live action retelling of the iconic animated film, which is bombing in those countries, stars Halle Bailey in the title role. And of course, we saw CNN do this. We saw a bunch of different outlets say the exact same thing. And even putting this out on Twitter here, The Hollywood Reporter. Now, this got ratioed. This is getting wrecked right now for good reason. We're going to show you why in just a second. But when you listen to this and you listen to the explanations, they're very clearly saying the reason that this film isn't doing well is solely because of the color of Halle Bailey's skin. The Little Mermaid is getting doused in both China and South Korea amid a racist backlash over the casting of Halle Bailey in the role of Ariel. The movie has grossed a mere $3.6 million in its first 10 days of release in China, by far the worst showing among Disney's live action adaptations. The worst, the worst of any Disney live action adaptation. That is pretty fucking bad for The Little Mermaid, uh, especially when you compare it to other things that have just been released, but I'll let them continue. The movie is also struggling badly in South Korea, where it has earned $4.4 million through June 4th. Sources. Now, that's a big deal for them. China and South Korea are massive international box office polls for these Disney live-action remakes. Look at something like Aladdin, released in 2019. The reason this movie got to a billion dollars is because how well it did in parts of Asia. Japan, $112 million. South Korea, $90 million, And over $50 million in China. Little Mermaid's not going to come even close to that. The reason, one of the reasons this is getting roasted right now is because the media themselves are getting fact-checked a little bit by community notes. Uh, you know, people are sharing this. China box office, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse wins opening weekend. Yeah, it's weird that you're telling us that the only reason that China didn't like this movie was because of a black character, yet a black character is dominating the box office globally, including making about six times as much as Little Mermaid has its entire run just in its opening weekend. But look at the community note that has been added. Twitter community notes fact-checking and wrecking the Hollywood Reporter. Let's look at this. Movies starring black leads have performed well in both China and South Korea. For example, Marvel and Disney's Black Panther grossed over $100 million in China and over $40 million in South Korea. To imply The Little Mermaid's performance in Asia is due to race is nonsensical. Now, obviously, Disney's had their own controversies when they've tried to hide black people. Disney certainly thinks that black people can't be successful in China. That's why they hid Black Panther's face. That's why they hid John Boyega's character of Finn on the Force Awakens poster. But it is also true, you can't deny that when you have something out like Miles Morales across the Spider-Verse featuring a black Spider-Man character as the lead in this thing, the fact that it's doing so incredibly well in China compared to The Little Mermaid blows this fucking argument out of the water completely and totally. Maybe people are rejecting other things about this movie. Maybe they're rejecting the fact that it is not just stopping at race swapping, right? Identity politics is at play with every aspect of this. It's changing something that is so beloved across the entire world. You want to change the way it ends so Ariel is the one that wrecks the ship into Ursula instead of Prince Eric. You want to change the lyrics of songs. You want to show Ariel in a different light because it's made for a, a modern feminist agenda. That's what they said in the lead up to this thing. Disney did this to themselves, and now they're falling back on what they always planned to fall back on. They set this up from the beginning. They knew that this was likely to fail all across the world, and now that it is failing internationally and tracking behind where they were expecting domestically, and reviews have been so-so on this thing, now they're coming out with racism. It's the racism narrative. You knew it was going to happen. The media is playing into it. They're saying the same thing Disney wants them to say. 
but they're getting fact checked by everyone right now. You gotta love it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.